Hi, this is Victor Alpha 3 Fox Sierra Delta. Uh, what we're going to do this morning is turn on the 19 set and, uh, and show you how it works with the power amplifier. As you can hear, we have it on A set is on. There, uh, it's AE, the switch, because it tells you to do that in the instructions uh, when we start setting up the power amplifier. Anyway, uh, as you can hear, it's working. We're set at about 70.25 or 70.30. It's, it's, it's hard to tell on this set. The antenna A wire goes, an A antenna wire goes into the input of the unit. And the antenna, receive antenna, is this one here. And there is a... Um, relay in there that uh, what it does is it puts a, a ground on this side and it also affects this little plug here which if you have a, my, a variometer hooked up to it there's a relay there's a mod that you do to it that there's a relay at the back that when you transmit it puts a ground on it so it doesn't burn it out this has a receive antenna and a transmit antenna the transmit is at the back which I've had to modify uh, made a little modification adapter so that I could use my bird. I'll turn this down because it's a little so you could hear better. Uh, made a little adapter so that we could go through a, a bird watt meter into a 50 ohm load so I, I could visually see the power going out. It's a little bit easier. Uh, generally use this light to make sure that you know the brighter the light the better it is. Uh, instructions say take that off frequency a bit and uh, and we can start turning so what we're going to do is turn this up go off frequency to make sure we're not interfering with anybody and it says to put the drive control in the middle I've turned it down to the bottom put the tune switch in tune and push the key in it also tells you to put that to MCW. I, I don't like doing that because, to be honest with you, uh, CW works the same way. And MCW, as soon as you plug it in, it, it's it's tra it's ready to transmit. It has uh, all the powers there, and it's actually transmitting a little bit uh, at a lower power. So we're going to plug it in. And if we were at MCW, you could see that right there that there is current going through it. So what we're going to do it tells you once you've put tune on drive down you press the key and you tune this for maximum out like maximum power indicated on the meter okay uh, so what we'll do now is we'll turn that down turn the tune off and pull the key out just for a second. You'll hear the volume come up. Good. One thing you you uh, have to know about the system, and I'll get through it when I'm finished doing the setup, and we'll go through the the power supplies and all that. This is a the power. Uh, it's an amplifier control unit number 19. Uh, they call it a a VPU. And this is the uh, RF amplifier, Amplifier Canadian number 19 amplifier unit. They're all World War II. I, I finished, I had fixed these two units. And now I'm just doing a, a video to show you how to hook them up and how to work them because I was asked by someone to do that. We set, we're going to turn the amplifier on. We have set it at 110 volts. So you can set it at 100, and it says 110 and 12 volts DC. But what we've done is we've thrown, there's a switch here. It says 110 or 117 volts. We've turned it to 117 volts. There's the fuses for the AC, and that's the DC 50 amp fuse. This is the fan that cools the inside of the uh, power supply. So, and there's a switch. This is wired for 115 volts, and I have it connected to my Variac that is set at 117 volts. And I monitor it not to exceed 100 and uh, not to exceed sorry 5 amps because it's hard on the unit. It's not it's not designed to be plugged into 125 volts. 
uh, it, it'll take its toll on the unit, the filaments on the tubes and everything else. We'll get into that. So what it does, it says, it says turn on, turn the tune switch to off, drive down, turn the power on, you'll see both lights come on. That's normal for 115 volts. Um, took me a while, I went through the schematic and found out, yes, both lights do come on. On DC though, you only have the green light come on and the red light when it transmits. Uh, I'm not drawing much on my very, uh, very act there, you can see it. Uh, so, anyway, we'll plug the key in. We're in a transmit mode right now. And we've adjusted our input. And there's the, you're going to see a light here. And there's the, our, my reference meter. Anyway, we're going to key the mic, or sorry, key the, key the key and adjust for maximum output. You're not supposed to exceed 200 milliamps on the power supply. Uh, that's what they tell you, you just turn the drive down. So I've got the drive turned all the way down. So I'm going to key it. And you're going to see that we have an output there. And it says about 20, 20 amps. No, I'm sorry, 20 watts, and we're sending at about 150 milliamps. And we're sitting just about 4.5 uh, amps and 117 volts AC. So we're going to turn this, we're going to tune it for maximum. There it is there. You can see the meter go, you could see, you can see, actually see the light go up, get in there and get brighter as you do that. You can just see the light. So we're going to tune that for a maximum, which is right there. You can see the light getting brighter. Because we're dealing with low power, the light is a little bit dim. Uh, that's the only reason you see me key in the, uh, hitting the key button. But there is a light there. You can see it, and uh, you can see the output. We're sitting at 150. You're supposed to be sitting at 180. I'm drawing just over four amps. So we're gonna give it uh, one, two, three. We turn the drive up to three, uh, just three turns. All of a sudden, you can see we're over 200, and we're about 60 watts, and we're almost six amps, which is like high. But you can see the light, how bright it is. So we're gonna turn this down. Just to show you, we'll, we'll, we'll put it on the second notch. And you can see the light in there, and uh, we're basically almost 40 watts out, 5 amps. And that's basically it. That's how you tune the system. And done. So, to shut it off, it's all we do is we pull the key, and you'll hear the... The receiver again, turn the amplifier off, the power supply for the amplifier off, and that's the set working. So the 19 set is still running. Uh, when the switch is off, you can hear it. When it's on, you can see it puts the ground on the receive. Uh, thing, we went through, this is an AC unit. Uh, 90 volts to 120, 35 volts AC. So you plug it in. What you have to worry about this one is that the, the pin the pl that you plug it in is not polarized. And because the older unit, one side of it is grounded to the case, so you have to be careful that if you plug it in wrong, you could uh, get a shock from it. So just be careful on that, on this one. But it will handle 125 volts AC, as you can see. This is a different case. Uh, this is the A set, as we were saying, goes to the input. There's the antenna. I'll just turn that down a little. This is the 2,000 volts coming from the amplifier. Uh, sorry, the power supply for the RF amplifier. This is the dog bone. It's a special dog bone. It's just not a standard dog bone that you would have for a radio for the 19 set. There's extra wires in it. So. It also 
because it's 117 volts, I'm not sure if I went through this, it's set up for 117 volts through the Variac. I set that we don't exceed 117 volts input, not to exceed 5 amps. And that's just to protect the life of the amplifier. Because at 125 volts, it's going to, the transformer is going to be a little hotter. The filament voltage is going to be a little bit higher. Uh, you're going to burn out some tubes and things like that. Uh, it's wired right now for AC and I have selected AC because that's the way I prefer it. It works better that way and I could control it. DC though, you need a, you have to rewire the plug, throw the switch down and it goes to DC like that. And now, now you need to change the plug and to accept a, a 12 volts up to 50 amps. Um, I don't use it because there's two vibrators in this unit and if one of them sticks it's going to just burn and uh, you, you'll never be able to replace a transformer. Uh, that's about it on the uh, Amplifier Canadian number 19 unit and the Amplifier Canadian number 19 vibrator power unit. So this is the RF power amplifier and this is the power supply for it. Uh, the only thing I didn't talk about was this cable right here. It's a special cable that goes in between the dog bone and the receiver and that has your transmit and your modulation and all that built into it. So anyway, that's the set. That's how it works and uh, it's already, it was 90% was pre-tuned but basically that's how you tune it, exactly how you saw it. The, uh, I had to do it that way because you're limited on time when you make these movies as I found out this is the first one I, I do in for YouTube. Um, next one I was asked to do was on the 19 set so I'll, I will be doing that. So I'll say uh, Victor Alpha 3 Fox the Sierra Delta 73's. Have a great day playing radios. If you want any information let me know. Um, if I have it, I'll send it to you, and I have other radios. If you want to see a video on another radio on how to turn it on and use it, uh, just let me know. Again, have a great day.